We could have never imagined that Goku would be facing off against gods before the idea of Battle of Gods even occurred. We could have never imagined that Goku fighting other multiverses reaching the level of gods. Needless to say, Goku's potential is vast and pretty much limitless, as displayed countless times throughout the entirety of Dragon Ball Super. Even though Dragon Ball Super is now on break and we don't really know when it's going to come back, we have an idea of what can possibly occur when the show returns or ends, as the ending of Dragon Ball Z and the continuation of Dragon Ball Heroes. If you're new to this channel and want to see more content revolving around Dragon Ball, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all post notifications to never miss and be left out on an upload. Also, if you're excited about me explaining the events that might occur for Goku after Super, then hit that like button too, as we have watched Goku progress through the entirety of Dragon Ball Super's run. We have seen him do not only the impossible, but perform extraordinary feats, such as achieving God Key, which enhanced his Super Saiyan forms, to becoming the student of Whis and angel who trained Lord Beerus, to mastering Kaioken with Super Saiyan forms, to fighting against mortals that had inevitably forced him to unlock a sacred technique that not only the gods could have completely mastered, Ultra Instinct. Goku was even able to befriend the destroyer and creator of everything, Lord Zeno. It's clear that Goku has gone through multiple instances of where his limit was challenged, and has time after time broken through each one. Goku doesn't make it too hard to figure out his goal throughout Dragon Ball Super, as he states it in the very first episode of Dragon Ball Super. Multiple times, he has claimed that all he just wants to do is fight very strong opponents. He wanted to fight against mortals and gods to break his limits and become stronger than he ever was. This isn't a new ideology, as this was his common goal throughout the entirety of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. This goal is the reason why he's at the level he is at right now. Even in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, after finding out how Broly displayed his monstrous power, Goku never wavered. He wants to test out his limits again by associating Broly as a rival, as he implied at the end of the movie. It's quite funny because even in Dragon Ball Heroes, we get a glimpse of how powerful Goku would be if he ever trained with the Grand Beast. Now we can get into what Goku's role will most likely entail when Dragon Ball Super finishes. Goku's character is always about pushing beyond his limits and trying to find ways to improve himself. Whether through finding a new teacher, a new rival, or a new enemy, Goku would first get bored and wonder about a new way to get stronger. I could see the Grand Priest being interested in Goku after seeing his true power with him returning from power. The Grand Priest would reach out to Goku offering to be his teacher. Without hesitation, Goku would happily agree to the Grand Priest mentoring him. The Grand Priest would teach Goku how to activate Ultra Instinct at will, resulting in Goku truly mastering Ultra Instinct. After that, Goku would finally try to test out his newfound power against a worthy opponent, whether it's Vegeta, Broly, or Beerus, and have a final rematch with one of them once and for all. Goku would obviously prevail within that particular fight. I could also see Goku surpassing not only the gods, but even the angels too. This just may be far-fetched, but I can see something more sinister and vaster in power and strength compared to the angels combined. Either a demon or a celestial being wiping out all the angels, just leaving Goku, who even he can't handle. There's a possibility that Oob can have a role in taking down this all-powerful celestial being, as Beerus and Whis stated his past reincarnation's potential. I can see Goku resorting to training Oob and teaching him to go even beyond the limits of his past reincarnation Majin Oob. Maybe Oob will exhibit unforeseen power of which we have never seen before, which can only be brought out after being trained by Goku. Again, this might not happen at all and we might see something entirely different, but it's guaranteed that we will see Goku either master Ultra Instinct, obtain a new Super Saiyan form, or mentor Oob. Personally, in the new Dragon Ball Super series, I would like to see Goku th go through trials that he never faced before. I want to see Goku become the best version of himself. The reason why Goku is an amazing character is because whatever trouble he faces, whenever death is clear as day in his face, he retains one quality that will never diminish. And it's his goal to always improve himself and to become the best 
possible version of himself. Okay guys, that does it for this video. Again, if you haven't watched my other video titled Change, I will suggest you to because I explain how I will be doing content on a regular basis. So if you enjoyed hearing me explain my theory on what Goku will most likely do in the future events of Dragon Ball Super, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you haven't already. Peace out.